Hi there Taurus, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at the week of April 13 through April 19. And there's a lot happening for you this week. Mercury, the communicator, the planet of words, the planet of planning moves into your sign on Tuesday where it's going to stay for a good three weeks. Mars, the planet of passion and energy, is also in your sign. And know that on April 17, Mars and Jupiter get into a little bit of a battle. Do you know anyone born under the sign of Leo? If so, that's the sort of person that you could have a little to do with. But getting back to Mercury, communications, travel and commerce will slow down to a less exciting but much more thorough pace for the next three weeks while Mercury is in your sign. Pluto, which is the planet of rebirth and regeneration, which is currently in Capricorn, your fellow Earth cousin, is retrograde, turns retrograde Thursday, April 16, and stays offline until September. And this is definitely a time to dig deep and identify the things in your life that have passed their sell-by date, Taurians. If you get rid of what no what is no longer viable or useful in the next five months, you'll be set to welcome in the new when Pluto wakes up in September. Expect things to get out of hand Friday, April 17, when feisty Mars gets fixed up in a square off with Jupiter. This is a fight that knows no limits. Because the boisterous combination of a strong world Mars in Taurus with an out of bounds Jupiter in Leo is like a cosmic bull in a china shop. If you can find a way for the bull to make peace with the lion, you'll be in good shape to take on a super positive Aries new moon Saturday, April 18. This new moon is the start of a perfect two week period for launching a new business or product, making a discovery or starting a relationship. So you have Mercury in your sign and you have Mars in your sign. Remembering that words can wound just as much as hitting someone over the head with a frying pan. You've got to be very careful these days. I'm very, very um, cautious with everyone that I deal with because a lot of people want to tell me about bullying and I was actually watching Dancing with the Stars last night. It was on and I was just watching it. And Ruma Willis, who of course is Demi Moore and, Ruma, and Bruce Willis's daughter, was explaining how she's been bullied her whole life, you know, that well, she's ugly and she's this and she's that. And, uh, you know, she's had some plastic surgery to try and make herself feel better. And, you know, she was... she was going to win Dancing with the Stars. She's absolutely fantastic and she's got a great figure and all that sort of stuff. But they, you know, showed some of the tweets and some of the comments that had gone online and it's just out of control, the bullying thing. And we all have to check in with our children and check in with ourselves and make sure that we are in no way bullying anybody or playing any role in anything that would be considered a bullying situation. And even as adults, we can bully each other very easily by knowing what to pick on, knowing what subjects are taboo and yet going there anyway, and just being, you know, um, strident when there's no need. And now this energy is definitely a bully energy. So just keep that in mind. Have a great week and it's great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.